Cryostats are used to slice frozen, unfixed tissues. We'll be using them for immunohistochemistry. Obtain your desired tissue from the freezer in the prep room. Quickly place the tube inside the cryostat to prevent thawing. Switch on the light using the control panel. Consult the handbook on the top of the cryostat to set the machine to the appropriate temperature for your tissue. Generally, this should be near negative 20 degrees Celsius. Place a layer of freezing media onto a specimen chuck. Mount the sample in the media. Place the heat extractor on top of the sample. In approximately 30 seconds, your specimen will be entirely frozen. You should cut your specimen into the shape of a trapezoid with a razor after it is frozen. This makes creating a smooth section easier. When sectioning, the blade should cut into the base of the trapezoid. Mount the chuck onto the specimen holder. Be sure to tighten the disc using the knob. Make sure this knob and all others are tightened fully before cutting your specimen. This will reduce chatter. You can adjust the position of the blade with the lever on the left. If the razor becomes dull after a long cutting session, you can change the position of the blade or ask the TA to put in a new one. Make sure to tighten the lever when you are done. The blade is very sharp. For your protection, make sure to put the faceplate over the blade when your hands are near it. If needed, you can alter the angle of the specimen while it is mounted. Use the arrow buttons on the left control panel to bring the specimen closer to the blade. You will start sectioning by rough facing. Set the thickness of your slides to 20 microns. Unlock the wheel. With each rotation of the wheel, the specimen holder will advance by 20 microns. Rough face until an even amount of tissue is being sectioned. You are now ready to begin fine sectioning. Clear the blade and the specimen of debris with a brush. If necessary, you may have to clean the blade and faceplate with ethanol. Decrease the section thickness to approximately 10 microns. Discard the first few slices after you have changed the section thickness. Close the faceplate to prevent curling of the sections. Move the crank in a slow but purposeful manner. Make sure your specimen is completely cold before you start cutting. Be sure to label your slides. Write on the textured side of the frosted portion. To collect your sections, place the labeled slide face down and press gently. The sample should stick to the slide. It is important to keep the slide inside the cryostat to prevent thawing. You may have to cut many sections before you get a good one. Sometimes the sample may even fall off the stage. It is important to be patient. Collect as many samples as possible on your slide. Use the locking mechanism to keep the specimen holder in place when you are manipulating the blade and or the mounted tissue. When you're finished sectioning your tissue, remove the chuck from the specimen holder. Use a razor blade to remove the specimen from the chuck. Place the specimen back in the tube. Return the tube to the freezer in the prep room. You should also place your slide in a slide box in the freezer. If you leave your tissue in the cryostat, it will be ruined overnight when the cryostat goes through its defrosting cycle. By this time, the cryostat will be a mess. Don't forget to clean it. Use a brush to make a pile. Collect the debris with a Kim wipe and then throw that Kim wipe in the trash. Make sure you empty the trough of debris too. When you're done, don't forget to close the lid and turn off the light. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the most embarrassing clip. It's so good.